My name is Byron Neal, and I am the director of the UL Advanced Wind Turbine Test Facility at West Texas A&M University. I would like to talk to you all today about how a wind turbine works. Well, first of all, a wind turbine is a machine that converts the blowing wind into electrical energy. Wind turbines come in all sizes, from as small as 160 watts up to 15 megawatts. Modern wind turbines are very sophisticated, highly engineered machines that are controlled by computers. They have many sensors to allow them to work safely and efficiently. The major parts of most wind turbines are the tower, which holds everything up in the air, the nacelle, which houses the drivetrain, the controls, and the rotor, which is the hub and the blades, which are the high performance part of the turbine. Here is an example of a cross section of a wind turbine blade. Wind tur turbine blades use lift like an airplane wing, so you, uh, you will notice that this looks very much like an airplane wing. The wind turbine blades produce lift, which cause them to rotate. The rotating rotor turns the gearbox, which turns the generator, which produces electrical energy. Not all wind turbines have gearboxes. Some of them, the rotor directly drives the generator. Once the generator produces the electrical energy, it is moved via wires down the tower into the electrical system that is on the ground. But what we really want the wind turbine to do is to produce energy, not power. Energy is what heats and cools our homes, what uh, cooks our meals and entertains us, so you know, keeps our cell phones charged and our, uh, runs our gaming systems. Wind turbines make energy by producing power over time. The units of energy we buy from the power company is kilowatt hours. We put wind turbines on tall towers to get the blades up in the, high up into the wind where the wind blows more consistently. So generally, the taller the wind turbine, the more energy is going to produce.